Hi guys, um, today I'm just quickly updating you guys about my previous video on grafting uh, avocados, grafting rose, grafting pomegranate trees. So, yeah, I will run you through quickly how my grafting going. Alright. Hi guys, okay, um, I'm just quickly updating you guys about the. Um, Avocado grafting that I uploaded video about three weeks ago So uh, yeah quickly show you It has been established and It looks like it's got some yeah, new growth branches Here Okay New grow branches here And right there and the tip look very healthy as well here so I'm planning to do a report on this one and snip off where I mark the um, the main branches here it look like it's gonna come off already so I will clip it and um, report it because this pot is pretty small and yeah we'll see how we go hey there Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and clip off the um you know the point that I was marked from the main branch. Okay, this is the main branch my avocado trees. So I'm gonna snip that off. And let it grow slowly from the rootstock that I was grafted on. So, yeah, let's go ahead and clip this off. Alright. So, there I have it. My avocado grafted. Ready for growing. A very small pot. I'm going to repot this into a bigger pot. So, it can easily growing in a bigger pot all right okay so i have prepared a pot earlier just a garden soil and i'm gonna go ahead to repot my grafting avocado plant into these bigger pots okay all right let's pot this little baby just loosen it up and get me out Plenty of rootstock there. Take a bit more soy. There you go. I always like to put cocoa core for mulching, keep the water, I mean keep the soils moist. So it return the water really well with this one. And they work well with any plant that you are potting them. I find it work very effectively with my gardening. So I always use this cocoa core to mix with the soil or to put on top just for moisture the soil there 
there you have it. Give you a quick like run through my backyard garden. See what I have in my backyard. I've got some cucumber growing here. Cucumber, got some yeah, small cucumber. I want cucumber there. Cucumber up here. And then the one up here. Growing good, and this one. Oh, yeah, I mean, fruit. Got a few tomatoes and some chili. Tomatoes. Some tomatoes, chili, and rosemary for roast lamb. A bunch of chilies, nice chilies. Okay, got some basil as well here. Thai basil, spring onion, got some spring onion, and I grow some corn. It's corn is almost ready for pickup, harvesting. Look at this corn here, oh god, uh, they're nice. This ready. My corn. That is ready to harvest. Oh, beautiful corn, look at this. Oh, corn. I got elephant ears. That's elephant ears. This is taro. I've got some taro here. And this is turmeric. This is turmeric. Nice. Curry leaf plant. Nice and tall. Growing a pot. Beautiful. Chili. This is yellow seven chili. I got seed from my friend, and they gave me an egg roll, and they're starting having some chilies. And this is another type of chili. This is pretty hot. Chilies. And look at my lemongrass. You guys are interested in watching how to grow lemongrass? I have one of my videos about how to grow lemongrass. So. You will grow like me if you follow instruction how I do it, okay? Lemongrass, nice. Capsicum, green capsicum. That's so good. Capsicum here. Oh, this is big. That's nice and big. Chili. No capsicum. Very nice. You guys might have watched my video how to grow jackfruit from seed. And look how my seed is growing in here like crazy. Oh my goodness. Look at how it grow. We got like more than 10 seedlings here. Jackfruit. They're growing like crazy. My cherry grafting on plums. And they're still growing. The flower doesn't stay. It looks like it's dropping flowers, but it's still growing though. The branch still growing. There. I also have a branch here as well that I graft. Cherry on plums. So this one. Yeah, still nice. 
still nice and grow. Hopefully they get some fruit. Maybe next year I'll get some cherry fruit on plum trees. That'll be nice. Beautiful. I would be excited to see my pomegranate trees that are growing and got plenty of fruit. Look at the fruit, my god. How nice they are. This is really sweet and juicy pomegranate. Right. Um, this is the variety that I grafted on my other pomegranate plant. Oh, look at these two giant pomegranate plants. This fruit is beautiful. Look at the colors. I love pomegranate. They are really beautiful and juicy. So excited to see this growing like that. want to see the rose crafting that I have previous video a crafting a mud crafting rose my red rose onto the yellow rose so this here it's growing like crazy see that part from here that I crafted on my yellow rose and this is red variety so you can see how it growing and it will have red flowers here this hasn't been blooming yet but look at this it's gonna be red flowers rose and they're uh, really good and the Mandevilla grafting um, here this one of them look like it's growing you should you can check out my previous video about how to graph Manuela flowers. Yeah. Check how these go. So they look beautiful. Pomegranate grafting. I have shown you guys in my video about how to graft two variety of pomegranate trees onto one that you want to change the varieties so um, yeah check out my previous video you can see how exactly how it works so very easy instruction how to do it and this bad boy here it look great nice and plump like big them growing up very healthy so I like this how it turned out to be nice and lush growing oh, okay Beautiful.